Coach Kesim Mingle joins me here. Coach, you are pretty emphatic about a victory here. But first of all, tell me about the assessment of your boys. You know, we've been playing the 3 5 2, and I assigned everybody the role to play. And they were playing the role perfectly. Eh? You see, they could not play, Adriana could not play, because we always outnumber them in the midfield. And our, our attackers were very fast. So when we outnumber them, and we try to possess the ball power, we invite them to come, then we play it to our attackers, they use their pace, and out with them, and we get their goals. Throughout the season, you, you've spoken about your key players in midfield who were injured. Now you, you have them back in the heart of midfield. How, how intelligent were the, the performance of those boys? Very, very fantastic. I told you, with them back, you see that midfield will gel. You know what? During their absence, I think there was a shot coming at the midfield there. But now they are back. They are used to the way we play in the middle. <laughs> now, before kickoff, you told me about that dream that you wanted to play hearts of folk. And in the grand finale, you teach them a football lesson. Are you happy now? I'm happy. I'm extremely happy. I'm very happy. I told you we were going to win, and we've done it. Now, in that grand finale, what should we expect? Betray United, they've won the competition before. They are going into their second final, um, meeting the super champions, Hearts of Folk. Would there be any upset? Time will tell. Let's get to the time, then we decide. <laughs> Many thanks for your time, Coach. Thank you. So, Coach Kassim Mengel, you know, tells us how he feels, what he saw through the game, and we are very much pleased with his thoughts and view. Now is the turn of the head coach of Adriana Stars, Coach Benzola. Coach, thanks for joining me once more. Another very poor performance. You were, you were pretty lucky when you escaped the Barbara Sports Stadium with one point, but your team could not survive the barrage of attacks from Adriana, uh, from Bechem United, I must say. Yes, uh, one problem. One problem we had in this very game was, see, we allowed them to I mean, get hold of the ball before we start doing the pressing. So I was telling them that they should, they shouldn't allow them to take the ball before they go on them. But they were not doing it, especially in the first half. But the second half, I think, after the change, we saw that we were also having control of the game. Now. You are 80 or ninth game in all competitions. You, you, you are still yet to win. How do you solve that problem? How, how does the Diana start bounce back to winning ways? Yes, uh, we, are, we, are, we, we, we are still in the league. We are playing, and the problems. Uh, every week we see a problem. We try to solve it, so we continue solving those problems. See, we have we had problems with our goal scoring. No first. 20, 25 minutes, we had two clear chances, which we should have scored. We blew it. So from there, they took their chance. So You have been considering goals in the Ghana Premier League. You considered two here in the MTNFA Cup. What seems to be the problem in the heart of defense? I didn't see that combination, that aggressiveness from your two central defenders, Abdullah and Afeson, today. I'm, I'm also shocked, shocked today. I'm also shocked. But... You can't blame whatever the problem. We get back and try and uh, solve it before our next game. Well, coach, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. So that was the head coach of Adriana Stars. And um, Benzola having a word with us. Um, it's now the turn of the most promising player um, in the MTN Africa Cup. It's Francis Chini. Uh, Chini had to say. I mean, the team United won a very good season. League in the Muda second. Muko MTNFA Cup final. Who as that revelation as a, the, the most promising player our MTNFA Cup the final feeling? First of all, me that said I be more young coupon. I won't pen pen so dear bedroom. We have MTNFA Cup next year now. Like it, it wasn't an easy journey. For first match we call it good. I could share. A question one home, second match, we call by BNI, a question by BNI. What about home? I bet we need two home matches. Between Adriana at the Golden City Park, Golden City Park, 
to the final. Like it wasn't an easy, a easy journey. And you know, I said I need to be money and cope on pen pencil. I be doing. Yeah, the Namias, me the Namias. So like, I'm born body. I born me through all the empty and fake cup. As I now be corner. Yeah, who this season money has to focus about two matches. Money to be and show, but so money to be and show more. This time around, we show more grand finale, final animal. Who personally? So I get no shit to say. Yeah, he has about two matches. Uhi league ma first league yeko Accra yani omu bo zero zero omu ba bichem United yabo omu ba bichem yabo one one. This is the time ma you prove to the whole world say bichem United. You like you can't be team say Ghana. You see yaba. In the final yani has say wukumasi no. This is the time ma you be sure omu because you bought two draws. This is the time ma you show omu na you can't change the whole Ghana who you say bichem United. You see yaba. Francis Chini is cool with us. Mr. Medasi. All right, so the most promising player in the MTL FA Cup, uh, Francis Chini, with a word with us. Um, it's not a turn off.